Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the, just kind of speculating on the price points of uh, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. So, there's been a lot of articles out there right now talking about the different prices that they might be. The general consensus seems to be that the Xbox Series X is going to be cheaper, but it's not clear how much cheaper. I saw one article say that the Xbox Series X might be as low as $400, which would be crazy considering you can get a, if you remember, uh, the Xbox One X launched at $500 only a couple of years ago. And now you can see it on Microsoft Store, brand new bundles for $300. So you can tell they're trying to lower that price point down a little bit. That way it makes it more appealing to the new console. Now, $400 seems a little bit too low for me. Uh, it's very possible that they see the lowering economy as a reason to maybe take a loss on the console to try to sell. Because Microsoft isn't really the name for hardware these days. Uh, so they might be taking a loss on their hardware sales to try to promote things like the Xbox Game Pass, which is probably the biggest appeal for anybody wanting to purchase an Xbox Series X over a PlayStation 5 is you're looking at the Game Pass Ultimate where you get a lot of benefits, a lot of games, a lot of access to games. And it's a good variety. It's the closest thing I've seen these days to a Netflix of gaming. Because, you know, you got titles coming and going just like Netflix. And, uh, that is the biggest advantage I see. Also, Xbox has been a lot better than Sony about how they handle backwards compatibility. So, Xbox would be an easier transition for most people, especially families on a budget, to transition from one generation to the other. And Microsoft might capitalize on that in order to try to promote their uh, new console. And they've already kind of established this dynamic that the Xbox Series X is going to be part of the family of Xbox. It's not necessarily going to take over Xbox like we see with most generations. I think that remains to be seen because a lot of developers probably aren't too happy about throttling their game's performance to try to place it on an old system like an Xbox One, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, now, Sony, things are a little different. Um, every, we've seen leaks where it's looking like probably $550, $600. Uh, that sounds pretty typical. It's a lot higher than people probably are expecting to pay. I know, uh, I think I paid about 400 for my PlayStation 4 Pro a few years ago. And I think you can probably get one now still for 350 uh, So it's kind of a big leap, but people who have a little bit of a longer memory would remember that back in the PlayStation 3 days and stuff, a PlayStation was expensive. We're talking like $700 easy. I'm not sure off the top of my head exactly how expensive they used to be, but Consoles used to be a lot more expensive, and I think modern times have gotten really spoiled at these low price points. So, Sony has always had more of a make money on a hardware mindset. It's kind of, uh, it's almost like they take pride in their consoles a little more, so they, they're not afraid to set that price point higher. So I think beyond a shadow of a doubt, every analyst pretty much agrees across the board that you're looking at a higher price for the PlayStation 5. How high? We're not really sure. I would say 600 is a little steep, especially with the economy the way it's been. It's probably asking a little too much. But I would personally consider 500 or 550 a lot more movable. And, uh, We'll find out what they wind up doing with it. I think uh, 
it seems like they're kind of playing chicken on releasing prices. That's why the leaks are so jumped on by everybody. And if you're watching this, you're probably trying to figure it out yourself. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and speculate my prediction is you're looking at Xbox probably 450 to 500 and PlayStation 5 you're looking at about 550 I would say 550 500 you're gonna they're probably not gonna be too far apart because neither one of them wants to be grossly more expensive than the other but they probably will we will see a price difference. Uh, I can almost guarantee that. Neither one of them are going to launch at the same price. In fact, I would almost bet that if Microsoft is the first one to announce the price and it's anything below 500, Sony's going to intentionally keep the price above. Because that's kind of how they've always sold it. Which is kind of the reason why the Xbox 360 did so much better than the PlayStation 3 because it was just so much more accessible. A lot of people couldn't afford the high price point of PlayStation 3. And nowadays, it's a lot more even. You know, for the same price, you can get an Xbox One, a PlayStation 4, or a, even a Nintendo Switch these days for all roughly the same price. There isn't a huge difference. So we are nearing the end of the console cycle, so maybe that'll change the, with the next one. Maybe we'll see Nintendo take a lower price point and then you'll see a significant tier. You'll see, you know, price-wise, Nintendo at the bottom with Xbox in the middle and PlayStation on top. Maybe they'll switch it around because Microsoft has been going above and beyond to try to make a more powerful system. And then some of the specs we've seen for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, the Xbox Series X in raw power is more powerful. So maybe Microsoft will take advantage of that and they will make the more expensive console. So we'll wait and see. And uh, if you like what I, my video here, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, upload gaming videos as often as I can. I'm trying to upload daily these days. And, uh, and I'll try to do more videos like this. Just sharing my opinions on the gaming industry at the moment and anything new and up and coming. Thanks for watching.